Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I have here one unboxing video to make. Uh, and I'm not 100% sure of what to expect from here. Uh, as far as I know it is a black pen, so at least it seems in photos. I don't have a black Victorinox, a Lox knife to open this package. So, I'll use this one, Victorinox Solo, I like it. Now, about this, some background. This is a store called Cash Converters. It is a Spanish and Portuguese uh, chain of stores that sells used stuff, mostly. And sometimes they have pens, but they are not experts on pens, so they may have a very expensive, for example, I once bought a Parker International Bufold there for just 40 euros. I bought once a Conklin Nozak. I know it doesn't have an original nib, but it has a replacement nib that is not that bad. But with a replacement nib, it cost Two, 2 euros or 1 euro and 95 cents, so something less than 3 euros. And sometimes they have pens, like uh, they can have a Parker Vector and sell it for 25 or 30 euros, which makes no sense, they don't really know that much. They have a website where they post uh, things sometimes daily, and they have some pens. Sometimes, not always. Let me put some light here on this side. No, it looks better. And sometimes they have pens, and very often the photos are completely uh, undescriptive of what is inside. Even the description of the items. They usually say it is new or used or almost as good as new. This is this kind of uh, description they have. So sometimes when they say it is heavily used, they say just below it can have uh, indents, scr scratches, uh, cracked parts, but you don't really know. I've seen such descriptions in pens that had the problems in the boxes, not in the pens, that's just in the cases, and they were sold much cheaper. So, okay. I couldn't go to the store, I was afraid these disappeared the next day, so I bought it, kind of blindly, I'm not 100% sure of what is inside, but that's what we will see. It is listed as a Omas Milord in black, no, it's not an Arco one, that would be crazy, but I, I saw that and I thought, okay, I don't have a Omas pen yet, and when I made the video on my collection of Italian pens, some of the comments I got is, was you just now you now you just need to get uh, an Omas to your collection, and that same night that appeared online, and so I tried. Now let's see. I'm not sure if it is in good shape or not. I think it is. I think it has a fine nib but I can't be sure. So, let's take a look. Okay, first, this comes with paper and I like it a lot because I think it's much better than coming in plastic. Now the big box goes away and they have this nice velvety thing with a sticker that ruins the velvet, of course, but I guess they don't really care about that detail. Okay, but that came out quite easily. I will keep this because if this is not, what I mean is, I bought this pen with that used and bad shape condition, so I, I'm not sure I can return it if it, is, if it has scratches or cracks, because it is described as such, but it is described as in working condition. If it is not, I may want to send it back, so I will keep this little sticker aside, maybe that will be needed. This nice box, I 
understand that it is not from this particular pen, it is from the Omas Milord for the World uh, Exhibit, the Expo 98 that happened here in Lisbon, and Omas made a special Omas Milord pen for that event, for that World Fair. Um, and this is the box for that pen, not for the pen that is inside. Okay, I've waited too long. It's very hard for me, but sometimes I need to to keep myself from, <laughs> from jumping uh, at it. Let's finally open it. I will just zoom in and then we'll see the pen. And let's see. Okay, as you can see, the, there is there the very faded the logo of the Expo 98. This logo is very. I, 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 it's hard to say, but we feel very related. At least I feel very related with this very important world exhibit that happened here. And I, it's kind of sentimental to me. And it says there, dive into the future and Expo 98, but it seems like it was rubbed off because this is not the original thing. There is the pen. I'm almost afraid of it looking, but how the shape it has. And there is no documentation or anything below. <sighs> okay, let's take a look. I think it has a scratch. I don't know how deep it is, but I think I saw it on the photos, very blurry photos. Let me move this light a little bit here and put it higher just to make sure, and a little bit brighter, just to make sure I can see the details of the pen. So we have there, Omas, Italy. There was a scratch somewhere near the clip there okay but that's not bad i think i can polish that out i don't see any cracks it has this beautiful greek key uh, decoration on the band it is so tightly okay we have the nib that seems to be in quite good condition it has almost engraved. Oops. And I don't see any information about the material. Did Omas made make a steel nib pens? And it has this part. I think this is that cartridge style that Omas has. Or no, maybe this is a piston filler. I'm never sure. Yes, it seems to be a piston filler. I was not sure about it because I saw there were piston fillers and there were the that uh, advanced cartridge system, which I don't think really works. And so this is it. I have the nib. I don't know. I thought all Oma's nibs were steel nib or gold nibs, but this one has no engraving saying, stating such. So I'm not really sure. Now that I have the pen, I need to research a little bit more about it. I think it is in quite good shape and the Oma style nib is good. Now I have a Oma's pen in my collection. So that is somehow interesting for me. I'm quite happy about it. And this is it. So apparently my collection it's not a small pen. I thought it could be a little bigger, but but it's a good size. So my collection of Italian pens has increased. I don't know if when it will be time to make another video, like an update of the video I made. Okay, I'm just talking a little bit. This is all for today. I will check the pens, see how it goes and then I will update you on this and I'll show you more of this pen soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know people, some people like to see unboxing videos, some don't because 
doesn't really provide any special information, just I think my excitement and I hope to see you soon here in my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll meet again. Bye!